we have finished the 18th European Workshop in Periodontology. It's a workshop that has aimed to develop a clinical practice guideline for the management of pre-implant diseases. So we have prepared a series of recommendations, not only dealing with the treatment, but also with the prevention, which is very important. And I have to acknowledge the role of many people, I mean, the participants, the experts and stakeholders who came to La Granja for the discussions and, and the voting process of the recommendations. The reviewers, the experts who prepare the systematic reviews, and of course, all the chairs of the workshop committee that were chairing the working groups, helping in the discussions, and leading the groups towards taking the best decisions. And finally, last but not least, on the contrary, the most important person in this workshop is our methodological consultant, Dr. Ina Kopp. So I thank all of you for helping this process, which I'm sure it will be very relevant for the European Federation of Periodontology. The workshops are a key part of the EFP strategy to help inform oral healthcare professionals, the patients and the public about periodontology and dental implants. The workshops look at the systematic reviews, expert opinion and come up with a consensus guideline, which is the highest level of evidence, S3. We disseminate the information through our journal, the Journal of Clinical Periodontology, and through our website with infographics. And we're now known as the global reference for periodontology and dental implants. And the topic of this workshop is extremely timely. It deals with pre-implant biological complications. This is a growing problem and we have to address it with the seriousness it deserves. 